Hello everyone, this is horror author James Hershey Jr. from the Staring Into the Abyss radio show. And in this video, I want to bring you a witness report, an article that I found in weekendweird.com. This witness report has to do with the Dogman. And the title of this article is Witness Report, I Encountered a Six-Foot Dogman in the Forest of West Germany in 1972. Sightings of dogmen, upright walking canines that often resemble the iconic werewolf, have been rising over the last decade. While the eyewitness encounters with these creatures range from the bizarre to the downright terrifying, most reports are fairly recent, usually appearing after the Beast of Bray Road legend began to take hold of the popular consciousness, leading skeptics to believe that most stories of giant dog monsters are simply tall tales piggybacking on the popularity of Wisconsin's beast. Fortunately, the occasional tale pops up that predates the current dogman explosion. Our latest witness report comes from a man who claims to have encountered a dogman in Germany back in the 70s and goes into some great detail, not just about its appearance, but how he believes the creature might be related to an ancient agrarian cult of farmland protector. In the fall of 1972, while camping, I saw one of these so-called dogmen. I was an army brat living in West Germany in a place called Wildflecken. It was a heavily wooded area. Lots of places for a boy of 12 to go camping. I was with a friend. It was about 9 p.m. at the time, the month of November. We had a fire built, and I remember my friend was sitting cross-legged next to the fire. I was directly across from him standing, doing something. We were in a tiny clearing with evergreens all around. We were talking to each other when all of a sudden this very tall creature standing on two legs, which looked a bit like a German shepherd, stepped out of the foliage. It was about six or seven feet tall, much like in the Weak and Weird Witness Report. I distinctly remember the tall ears, long snout, heavy shoulders, long tail, and bent dog legs. It seemed to be muscular in build and had a thick upper body and a narrow lower body, colored the same as a German Shepherd. This thing stepped over the fire between us and was gone in a quick second. It was extremely fast. We both exclaimed at the same time, what the hell was that, before running as fast as we could to my friend's house. We locked ourselves in his basement and slept there for the rest of the night. We never spoke of it again. We didn't know what we saw, but it never made any aggressive gestures or noises at us. I have conducted much research since the age of the computer, bought books on the subject. All the legends I have gone through makes me think if legends are true, this could have been a Benendanti werewolf. They were not evil and only tried to protect the farmer's crops against evil spirits. The Dogman encounter is interesting in and of itself, as any report of an anthropomorphic canine would be. But the introduction of the Benedanti takes the tale to an even more fascinating place. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Benedanti, or the Good Walkers, were a group that claimed they left their bodies at night to go fight against malevolent witches on the spirit plane, battling against curses placed on farmers' crops, healing the sick from astral ailments, and engaging in combat with supernatural creatures. The Benendanti would often take the shape of half-human animals, including dogs, when they left their bodies, leading to some frightening sightings of strange creatures by those who happened to be wandering in the countryside at night. Could a secret group of Benendanti still be fighting against supernatural threats in Germany? Our European readers should keep their eyes peeled and be sure to send in any strange reports they discover. And that's the end of the article. Now this one is very, very interesting because the sighting is from the early 1970s, 1972. So this is way before the Dogman legend got popular. If this report is true, then we might have some sort of insight onto what the Dogman might actually be. A lot of people think the Dogman is a werewolf or think that it is in some way some dangerous or malevolent creature that wants to do us harm. But if it's true that, that this guy saw a Dogman in 72, and if it's also true that it didn't try to hurt him at all, and it might be one of these Benendantes, then is it possible that maybe the Michigan Dogman could be a group of Benedantes as well? Could we have some real-life hunters in the Michigan area that are trying to protect the people there and root out some of the other evil things that are in the area? Who knows? It's very, very interesting though, right? I'm interested to see in the comments what you guys think about the article, if you guys believe this guy's tale, and what you think about the idea of, of the Dogman possibly being a group of Benedanti that are actually trying to protect people and to fight other evil creatures. 
very interesting twist here and, and something I haven't heard a whole lot of in the Dogman community. So let me know what you think. I know you guys who are into the Dogman are super informed and you are super passionate about it. And I love that. I got a lot of respect for you guys. So I will really be interested to see what you have to say in the comments. As always, thank you guys for listening. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And make sure you tune in on Sunday nights at midnight on Para-X for the Staring Into the Abyss radio show. And until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. I love you. Bye-bye.